the Target 12 investigators are uncovering new information about this week's water emergency. 25,000 customers were instructed to boil their water for four days after coliform bacteria indicators were discovered in the Kent County's water supply. The order was lifted yesterday, but the investigation into the cause is still underway tonight. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details now from our mobile newsroom. Target 12 found out the concerns about the E. coli problem range from the heat of the summer to the tank not filling and draining the way it used to. The two million gallon tank that's about a foot thick at the bottom was already examined inside and out, according to the Water Authority general manager. No outside cracking at all, no inside cracking, no leaking of the tank. He went to all the side walls, he went into the roof, he went into the floor. So we've got nothing penetrating to the outside. He tells us there's a locked hatch and a covered screen that's about 15 inches in diameter at the top of the 24-year-old tank. Any chance the E. coli got through that hatch or that screen? We see no evidence of that at this point, none whatsoever. No bird screen, droppings up there, no nothing. No, no bird there. droppings, no nothing, no, no contamination that we could see. But he says over the past two years, a drop in demand for water has caused the tank to drain and fill less than it used to. Brown tells us that lack of flow, coupled with the heat of the summer, could be a clue. We are concerned about the heat of the summer if the tank is not moving because the water then heats up a little bit. As it heats up, of course, it becomes a much better incubator. Eventually, the tank, which will be offline during the investigation, will be drained and cleaned. But Brown says the first step is to create a series of computerized hydraulic models. To see what caused the problem, in particular, why the tank doesn't drain as much as it normally does. Now, according to Brown, the Water Authority has 90 days to come up with what's known as a rectification plan that will be presented to the Department of Health. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.